Did I do that correctly? Hello everyone and welcome to Christmas. This week is the first of four fabulously festive arrangements to get you and your home perfectly in the mood for the greatest time of year. I've named this arrangement after the classic 1987 film, The Snowman, for a few reasons. When looking at the arrangement, I can almost hear Alan Jones' beautiful voice singing as the snowman soars through the mountains and snow-covered pine forests in the film. The lovely Brassica, I think, look a little like the snowman himself, with their beautiful petals almost representing his body. And the wax flower looks a little like the snow-covered pine forests with its beautiful lemony scent. Adding to that, we have put in a little bit of festive glam with some painted silver twigs that have been grown for us in Ireland. Then we've got some fabulously snowy, almost frost-covered lisianthus, and these beautifully elegant Four Seasons Avalanche Roses that have been grown by John Meyer, who I met at a flower show the other week. And to finish it all off, we have this beautiful eucalyptus parvifolia, which has a glorious scent. Try crushing a little bit between your fingers, and it just smells magnificent. So we have Christmas in a vase here. You're gonna absolutely love it. Now, it is very important to look after your flowers. Your home might be warm at Christmas, so all the more important. Firstly, you want to trim a diagonal inch off the end of all your stems, like this. Then you want to use room temperature water about a third full, use your flower food and a lovely clean vase. Also, make sure to keep your flowers away from any radiators or cold drafts, because that makes a big difference to the life of your flowers. And also, make sure to change the water every three days. Okay, so time to build this lovely snowman. First of all, we're gonna start with our avalanche roses arranged evenly around the edge of our vase. Now we're gonna fill the gaps with our lovely brassica. These are the last of the season and this variety is called white crane. And what we've done is created a lovely structural stem grid in the middle of our vase. Now we're gonna stand our wax flower up a little more centrally using these stems for support. And then we're gonna do the same again with our taller lisianthus on either side of our wax flower. Next up, our eucalyptus parvifolia, and we're gonna add the stems to the center, pulling its branches out and through the other flowers. And then we're gonna finish with our fun bit of festive glitz, some silver birch upright dotted throughout. There we have it, absolute snowy perfection, white, frosty, beautiful, silvery, before we hit all of the reds and golds of the actual Christmas period. Now very quickly, I'd like to draw your attention to what's coming up next week, which is this absolute monster of an arrangement, which is our traditional Christmas special. We've done it for the last six years in a row. Five stems of incredible amaryllis, eucalyptus cinerea, and eucalyptus parvifolia to be painted silver. It is just as Christmassy as you can get. I absolutely love it, and I'm sure you will as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this lovely arrangement, and see you next time.